As a writer, I love the fact that this is so easy and quick to make beats on. I just made a beat without pressing a single chord. Straight hacking the system. Yo, this is SX and I'm here at Signature Studios showing you guys the FL Key 37 by Novation. Um, I've got FL Studio open and yeah, I'm about to make a track, so no pressure on me, but let's go. The first thing I wanted to show you, um, which is why I've got the kick up is how amazing this is. This whole pad sequencer on here is actually the actual sequencer on the screen. So the fact that you can just make the whole beat like Or let's go for a hi-hat while we're in here. Let's go for it. You can do everything on this keyboard from the keyboard. You know, you don't even need to use the mouse really. So now we've got the kick in, I've got my hi-hat up. I'm not gonna use the pad, the pad sequencer for this because I like to be hands-on. I'm a drummer first. So for me, I like to, I like to be on the keys. So let's get the hi-hats in. And then again, we just hit quantize. Let's get a little clap in here. Same again, I'm just gonna record that in. So I've just pulled up Morphine. Um, I used to use this, I think, when I was a kid. This is an old classic FL Studio plugin. So because I can't play keys, I wanted to show you this cool feature where it helps me out a lot. Little life hack. Um, you can literally just hit any key you want. So we're on C minor right now. And then every single pad on here is gonna be in the key of C minor. So for me, I'm having a field day. I can just play my beat. And you can even change the way that they are. You can change them into different, into fifths, ninths, just from the simply hitting this page arrow right here. I love that, so I'm gonna go ahead and lay it in, man. It's easy, you know? So, again, I messed up there, so you can just hit undo and go again. I actually prefer that, man. And we just hit quantize and we're in. Take record off. One thing I love about FL is just how quick you can operate. So I'm just changing the whole flow of the song. So when I make beats, I always get my vocal melodies going. I have the mic right next to me and I'm just gonna start laying down vocals. That's how a track will go for me. But let's get some bass in there right now. Before I load in a bass sound, I just want to show you guys how cool this is. You can literally change the, the plugin with these knobs right at the top. Let me show you. Let me just solo the, the plugin. All we got to do is hit shift and hit the plugin. And then as you can see right here, I'm, I'm messing with the sustain. Get that bass in there, man. We're gonna pull up uh, Citrus. I'm gonna go for, this is one of my go-to sounds I use when I'm just making beats. I always end up spending years on a beat, just changing the sounds afterwards, but that's just the... I 
like that, man. Let's record that in. Again, quantize and take off the metronome. Again, I just want to change these um, the keys. I'm forever changing my beats when I make them. But this is the beauty of music. You can just, you can just change it until you think, you know, that's me. There we go. Now it sounds like a whole new beat, but... I'm ready to put my vocals on it. Said I'm ready. Put my vocals in. I'm ready. When I've got my whole beat kind of in one pattern, I'll strip it away so you just saw I took away the synth and put that in pattern five. Pattern five for me is always my intros. Don't know why, but that's just the way I've done it. There's no right or wrong way to make beats, which is like what I love, especially with FL. There's many different ways to, to make a beat. You can make the whole beat in every different separate pattern, every sound in a separate pattern. Or like me, make the whole thing in the whole pattern. So I kind of feel like I've got the beat to a point now where anything else I'll just be adding to it. For me now, like I've said, it's time to add vocals, so on go the headphones. Put the mic on and see what comes, man. So yeah, I think really that is the track. Um, obviously, I would go and finish off the writing. Don't judge me on that part, all my singing actually. My favorite thing about this whole song is just the ease of use, you know, being able to make a beat and basically melodies. You know, you've watched me use the step sequencer where we've implemented the drums and I've hacked the system with the chords. This is what I am gonna be using forever now, wherever I'm at, you know, um, this is staying with me. And I'm not just saying that, that is genuine. I'm taking this with me, you'll see. <laughs> but yeah, um, I hope you enjoyed the beat and uh, don't steal it. <laughs>